Here's Apple Insider's review of the new iPhone 11 Pro. Possibly more than any other year, the iPhone 11 Pro is a very divisive handset. While at the same time people are saying that it is purely iterative with minor changes, it also happens to be the longest lasting battery life ever on an iPhone, what many people claim is the best camera yet on an iPhone, huge improvements in computational photography with new features coming like deep fusion, huge improvements in portrait mode, improved tele lens photography, and an entirely new wide angle lens all at the same time. It also happens to be the most powerful iPhone yet to date, so in a lot of ways, it is a huge step forward for the iPhone, even if on the surface, it looks purely iterative. We spent quite a bit of time with the iPhone 11 Pro, so we're gonna go through all of the new features and kind of break down how we feel about Apple's new flagship handset. So here is the iPhone 11 Pro. It comes in two sizes, 5.8 inches and 6.5, same as the iPhone XS and XS Max. It comes in four different colors, silver, space gray, gold, and the new midnight green. It's available in capacities of 64, 256, and 512 gigabytes. And for the first time this year, Apple's including a fast charging USB-C lightning cable in the box. Regardless which size iPhone 11 Pro you go with, you're gonna get the exact same specs. Everything's gonna be pretty much the same, including the camera, other than the screen size. You're also gonna get a smidge more battery with that larger body. While the screen sizes are the same, the iPhone 11 Pro is slightly thicker and slightly heavier than before. But in reality, we really don't notice a huge amount of difference. You really only notice when you hold them side by side. Most of the colors are pretty similar, though there is now that new matte glass back, which has been reinforced and comes in that really cool midnight green. The colors are very subtle though. Midnight green isn't all that different from the space gray. It just has a slight green tint to it. At Apple Insider, we are huge fans of that new matte finish. It feels great in the hand and doesn't get fingerprints nearly as easily as the glossy back did. Before we dig into all the fun details like the camera, let's look at the performance improvements with that A13 Bionic. Now there is a new version of Geekbench out, but we started with Geekbench 4 to compare it to previous numbers that we've seen. You can see how the iPhone 11 Pro on the right significantly outperformed the iPhone XS there on the left hand side. We then ran the newest Geekbench 5 test to see how that performed with both models, and we were blown away again by how much better the iPhone 11 Pro was doing than the iPhone XS. We got a 3460 on that multi-core and only a 2238 on the XS, so there's a big difference, especially in the multi-core performance. This year, we also have a new display that's brighter and more vivid than ever, called the Super Retina XDR display. And while it's hard to tell on camera, there's a huge difference in how video quality looks, especially when playing in Dolby Vision or other HDR content. Moving on to the cameras, which is probably the biggest improvement yet to the new iPhones. Now there is a ton of different parts of the cameras that got upgraded, including the Face ID camera is now being upgraded to a 12 megapixel sensor. Simply put, comparing selfies between an iPhone 11 Pro and an iPhone XS is a huge difference. Not only is the camera itself higher resolution, it also is wider than ever. You can move between wide and ultra wide shots. You can even do this manually by tapping that little arrow there at the center, but it does it automatically when you shift the phone into landscape mode. If you ever take a lot of group shots, this can for sure be handy. The bigger news though is clearly the ultra wide sensor added to the back of the iPhone 11 Pro. So we have the tele lens, which has a wider, faster aperture. We have the standard wide lens and we have the new ultra wide lens. Apple has made it extremely smooth to go between all of those. And we really love the interface. There are buttons you can jump between or you can glide between them all. Video two has improved with 4K now being able to be shot at 60 frames per second. One feature we really like is called capture outside the frame. And you can see that here. You can see this section in the center, which is the standard wide lens. But on the edges, you can see what you would capture if you switched to the ultra wide. It's a really neat way to be able to imagine your photos. Let's move on to some sample photography. So here is using the new night mode on the iPhone 11 Pro. But when we compare it to the iPhone XS, you can see the marked difference between the two. It's a huge boost in resolution and brightness. Here you can see how wide that lens can be. When we compare it between the two, you can capture so much more with that wide angle selfie camera. 
here's the ultra wide lens on the iPhone 11 Pro and the same shot with the wide angle lens. You can simply get a lot more without having to move so far back. It's huge for indoor photos as well. Here's the wide lens and here's the same thing with ultra wide. Comparing side by side with the iPhone XS and the iPhone 11 Pro, both on that standard wide angle lens, there's simply more detail on the 11 Pro. Keep your eyes peeled to Apple Insider as we dive further into those cameras and bring you further comparisons between these and other handsets. The iPhone 11 Pro is a huge step forward for the iPhone and Apple. All the cameras have been significantly improved over the previous generations, battery life is longer than ever, the new body design is simply gorgeous and looks much better than the previous glassy, glossy finish of the back. We have faster LTE, even if it isn't 5G, we have the new U1 chip for directional tracking, support for Wi-Fi 6, and the fastest A-series chip we've ever seen. Don't be fooled by the outside, this is the smartphone to beat. So what do you guys think? Is the iPhone 11 Pro really worth it? Is it a huge upgrade in your eyes or is it not? Honestly, this is easily the most impressive iPhone to date and it really is a huge step forward. Going from our XS Max to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it's kind of a night and day difference. Not only is it more powerful, but those camera features are absolutely killer and we cannot wait to bring you more camera comparisons and shootouts in the coming days and weeks to follow. But this really does feel like an entirely new iPhone, even if a lot of the stuff is still the same from iPhones in the past. But that's just us. If you wanna get the best deals on the new iPhone, you can find links below in the description, but I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. So drop us a line down below in the comments or reach me directly on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see and follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.